thing you should have on it is your note card. If you need your math sheets from earlier, you can use those as a reference. Otherwise, those are going to get taken home. So Amy, we hold up those two pieces of paper. Our two math sheets that we did earlier today, you can use those as a reference while you're working on your math today to help you. And then you can take them home at the end of the day. OK. Four. Awesome. Table two is looking great. Table three is looking awesome. Nice job, table three. OK, perfect. Let's go ahead and get started. So today, our, remember our objective is that we're working on I can relate fractions and decimals. So we've done our practice sheet together. So today, for your quick check, you're going to do these problems up here on the board, number one and number two. You need to write a decimal and a fraction to represent the shaded part of the diagram. This will be your quick check, so please have your name on it. Do your two quick check problems. As soon as you're done with them, you can bring them to me. Oh, wait, fourth grade, sorry. Before we start our quick check, let's look at our list that we have today. So, remember that all of your, quick, all of your math list materials are over there. If you're list one, you're doing your another look, so that's your another look from today. You're going to watch it and fill out your four square. Your problem solving four square. Your assignment today is going to be practice buddy, so you should be doing practice buddy 12-1. You're going to do your game. Remember, do your color, so if you're in green group, you're playing green game. Yellow group, yellow game. Blue group, blue game. They're over there as well with your dice. And then reflex last. List two, you're doing the same thing in different orders. The only thing that's different is you have your math task instead of the another look. And the math task is over there. Remember, you may work with any partner as long as they're in your color group and your voices are below a level two. Any questions about your list? Yes, Miranda. Um, on the green group and the blue group, do we switch them? No, nope, they're correct this time. So if you're in green group, you're playing a green game. Good question. I know we talked about that earlier. Um, and remember, too, while you're talking with your partners, this week we've been talking about critiquing reasoning and agreeing and disagreeing with people. So you should be using our sentence frames, I agree with Taylor because, or I disagree with Maddie because. And every time you're using agree or disagree in a math context, you can come up and put a tally mark. And I want to see how many tally marks we can do today. Raise your hand if you think we can do more than three. Do you think we do more than five? Does anyone think we can do more than 10? Does anybody think we can do more than 15, 20? All right, OK, I saw some people at 20 kind of doubting. So we'll see. I want to see if we can get all the way to 20. That's kind of a lofty goal. But anytime you're talking while you're playing your game, remember, we're using that math talk of, oh, I agree, Izzy. I think the answer is 3 and 1 fourth. Or I disagree, Mackenzie. I think the answer is 2 and 7 eighths, whatever it is. OK, you may go ahead and start your quick check. Yes, ma'am. Use your sheet that we did before and use that to help you. Okay, uh, list two. List two. Double check, Nathan. Count your hundreds place on that one. List two, Brixton. Izzy, you need to write your fractions as well. List two. I seriously, that was hard to write my Dawson, name. you can start on list two. Nice job. That was so Great job hard. writing your fractions. OK, okay. Taylor, you can start on list two. Yes. I'm still pretty sure that that's it. How many are filled in? Look at your number four. That's the only digit that's wrong. Look at the orange part that's shaded in. You need your fractions as well, Mombi, and then you can bring it back. OK, we start on list one. You can start on list two, Elizabeth. Cameron, your list two. Sammy, list one. List two. List one. List two. List. List one. Yep, there you go, Nathan. Good job. List two. List one. Double check your tens place on those ones. Recount and double check and bring it back. So then you can start on list one. Did you turn yours? Yes. Okay, I'll talk with him in a second. Rylan, you can just take a seat and I'll help you get started in a minute. Uh, list one, Miranda. Thanks for turning your working, Tyson. You can start on list two. Good one. 
Oh, that right. So here's Stephanie. Did you forget one? Okay, start on list one. Good job. Uh, what do we do? Yep, there you go, Mommy. You can start on list two. Good what thing. do we do if they're all full for the... Friend? We'll talk about that. I'll come and meet with you in just a second. We can start on list one. I'll keep that. Okay, can I have the following people come up with me? Van, Izzy, Maddie, Miranda, Luis, and Grant, come on up and bring your quick check with you. Teaching tool six, then grab your two color pencils, Grant. Stephanie, start with reflex for today. Did you use the okay. color pencils to write your name? No, uh, yes, you can use the color pencils to write your name because we don't have pencils right now. Okay. So, most of you did a really awesome job finding your decimal and your fraction for 30 hundredths or 30 over 100. But what I saw is we had a couple mistakes on the ones where we have our whole number and part of our fraction. So, what I want us to do is I want us to color our, choose one of your colors. So I'm going to start with, I'll have red and green. So let's shade, let's start with an easy one. Let's shade in our second box. So see how there's the place value right next to it. Let's do 3,500. So go ahead and let's color in 3,500. So let's color in with our first color. We're gonna color in just our tenths. So if we have 35 over 100, Louise, how many tenths are we going to color in? Three. Three tenths, great job. That's exactly right. Thank you for identifying the tenths. So I'm gonna, so Marin, if I'm coloring in three tenths, does that mean I'm coloring in three squares, three rows, three grids? Three rows is correct. Nice job. So I have my three rows. Great job, Van. Yep, great. Keep going and filling those whole three rows. Perfect job, Izzy. So now with your other color, we're going to color in our ones or our, that goes in our hundreds place. Excuse me. So how many hundreds do we have in 35 over 100, Maddie? We have five. Five. So we're going to color in five with our other color. So we have one, two, three, four, five. Nice job. So now you can choose either color you want and we'll fill in what's going to go in the hundreds place. In the hundreds place? Not in the hundreds place. In the tens place. We have to think about this. So remember we have our decimal point. Our decimals that we're working with today are all going to come after the decimal point. So do we have, remember how we talked about sheets of brownies? Do we have a whole sheet of brownie? No. No. So everything before the decimal is going to be a zero. So let's fill in our zeros. We don't always have to put in a zero, but for today, since we're practicing, we'll say, we don't have any hundreds, we don't have any tens, and we don't have any ones, because we don't have any full sheets of brownies. We only have part of one. So then, underneath the tenths place, Miranda, how many tenths did we color in? Three. Three, so we're gonna put a three under the tenths. And Grant, how many hundredths did we color in? Um, how many red squares did you color in? Five. Five, exactly right. Nice job, Kyson. Thank you for working quietly. You can give your stamp. Brixton, you can give your table a point. Great job, Jose. You can give yourself a stamp. Thank you for working on task and focused. Awesome. So now our value is 35 hundredths. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing, but we're going to do it with both of these. So I want you to color in. Let's go ahead and color in the entire top grid. It's like a whole sheet of brownies. So how many tenths would that be if we're coloring in the entire thing? Exactly, Luis, you're totally right. Great job identifying the amount of tenths. We're coloring in 10 tenths, which is equal to how many hundredths, Van? How many hundredths are in that whole grid? Uh, 10, 50. Well, let's see. 10 tenths. There's 10 tenths, right? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. But if I counted each box, hundredths, how many 100. would there be? 100, nice job, good correction, hundredths. But I can look at that and say I have five rows and that's my tens and five squares and that's my hundreds. Mackenzie, you can give yourself a stamp. Great job staying focused and on task. Oh wait, I should. Cameron, Amy, and Elizabeth, you can give yourselves a stamp. Great job staying at your voice levels. This is supposed okay. to go there. The two fives. The two fives? That's okay if you switched them. We'll wait. Your two fives, yep. The two fives need to be in the tens and hundreds place. Otherwise, that's like saying you have 551 brownies left. That's completely different than the picture, right? So it's good. So cross out those five saying that we have way more brownies than we do have. Because think about it. This way I'm saying I have one. Focus with that. I have one and fifty-five hundredths of a plate. So 
Okay, let's do another one. I'm going to color it on my paper, and I want you to write the fraction and the decimal. I would have gotten it right, but I forgot to put the one. Yep, just the one is. I noticed what most people. So there's that, and we'll do. What? Wait, where? Okay, I'm going to fold my paper so you can look. On the very last place value chart, I want you to write in this decimal and write it as a fraction next to it. Do you mind? Good start, Maddie. Nice job putting that one's place. Go ahead and write that as a fraction now. Yes, Izzy, great job on your decimal. Go ahead and write it as a fraction now. Okay, Luis, you did an awesome job representing this one, but what about this one? Where is that represented in your decimal and your fraction? What about your one whole? Yes. And where is that going to go there? Great correction. Exactly, Luis. So you're going to put your one right there. Nice job. Okay, so right now, then, you're showing to me that you have 23 brownies. So you have 23 holes. How many hundred grids do you have? That's all filled in. How many of those do you have? Oh, there we're doing this one. We're doing those two together. Okay, Wait. Maddie and Izzy. Okay, so instead of having 123, that one's gonna go to the side because it's representing one hole and 23 over 100. Maddie, you can go ahead and go back to your desk. Okay, great. Go ahead and write as a decimal and a fraction. Nice job, Miranda. You can go ahead and go back to your desk. Okay, uh, let's do one more like that. Do I just give this to you? Um, I'll keep it, yes. Okay. And Izzy, you can go ahead and go back to your desk. Can I have, let's have uh, Stephanie come on up and Sammy come on up. Okay, I'm gonna take those and we're gonna do one more. Thank you, Monfi, for being on task. You can give your table point. Great job, Monfi and Kyson. And Rylan, come on over. Okay. Come take a seat, Rylan. Perfect, Sammy. Okay, so we're gonna start by filling in our first grid completely. So let's go ahead and fill that in. Choose one color from there. And Rylan, you can choose choose two colors. My mom said 0.70 is greater than 0.7 because 70 is greater than 7. Do you agree with Marjorie? Why or why not? I I uh, I don't I disagree because um, 7 um, 0.70 is equal to 0.7 because this is the tenths place and this is kind of this is just the same thing just add up the zero. I disagree because because 70 um, 70 is like it's in the hundredths place and sevens and seven tenths place. No, because um, because you know this is the tenth place. Yeah. So it's technically just like adding a zero. So this is still seventy. Just we just added the zero. Oh, because if you draw a picture, then it would be tenths and hundredths. So let's write I. Disagree. Let's see. I disagree. I disagree. I disagree with. Table four has a bunch of work in front of me. Uh, Maddie Wayne will give your table points. Disagree with. Because. Because. Zero point. Zero point. Oh, I got it right. Like that. another look. Mm -hmm. Grab your computer. Nice job, Miranda, for working. point tells us that we're working in the tenths and hundredths place. And then I'm going to do 39 hundredths and ending my number in the hundredths place. Mm -hmm. So, Sammy, go ahead. Nice job.